<laughs> yeah. <gasps> Do you have slow ride? Oh my god, if you have slow ride, woo! I'm not gonna make you keep switching songs for me, but. Hey guys, what's up? I'm just making a quick tutorial video on how to play music over your microphone, um, specifically in VRChat, if you prefer people who want to DJ, or in my case, um, play as a jukebox avatar. Um, this video will be going over the... Sorry about that. This video will be covering the software that I use, as well as how I use it. Just a quick word of mention, this is applicable to any game where you can use your microphone. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is install a virtual audio cable. Um, there's nothing specific to select with this, it's just two different installers for a 32-bit and a 64-bit system. Um, if you're not sure which your operating system is, you can press the Windows key and pause break to open up your system properties. Um, here it, it will say what your system type is. In my case, it's a 64-bit system, so I would install the 64EXE. After that is Virtual DJ. Again, this is a very straightforward installation. Uh, there's nothing specific to do. You can use the typical installation um, followed by using the key gen, uh, which is also provided in the file. Um, the README should go through that if you have any issues with that. And finally, after that is Clip Grab. Now, this one is optional, but again, it's a very straightforward install. The only thing to mention is that it does. Um, automatically try to install McAfee Web Advisor. You can decline this. Now that everything's installed, let's take a look at Virtual DJ and see what you need to have set up in that. So if you go to options on the top right and go to audio, which it should be by default, you can see here, uh, everything that you will need to set is already here for you. So you want to have it as speaker plus headphone, two sound cards, and a microphone is optional. If you want to be able to use your microphone, during it, then you would have this on. If not, then just leave it be. Um, the main thing that you're going to want to set is your outputs to have a master as your normal audio device. So your speakers, your headset, so on. Uh, channels one and two. And then if you also set a headphone output to virtual DJ, also channel one and two. Now that that's set, I'm just going to cover the other remaining things with Virtual DJ that you'll most likely want to know. Um, volume is controlled by two separate panels. You've got Mixer and Master. Um, for Master, you're going to want to set these to around 25% and just leave them there. The Master volume controls how loud it is for you through your speakers or headphones. And the headphones dial here controls how loud it is to broadcast over virtual audio cable. With Mixer, these gain knobs here control the individual volume for your decks. Uh, you can usually leave these alone unless something is especially loud or quiet, though Virtual DJ does support um, auto gain, so it will usually turn something up or down um, based on the volume of the previous track if it's significantly louder or quieter. The other thing is these volume dials here. Uh, these control how loud it is just through your headphones, but they are also also tied to this. So turning this down will turn it down regardless of what this is set at. This is just a percentage of this. So you can control how loud the broadcast is as well as how loud it is for you with this knob. But you can control how loud it is just for you with this slider. So say if somebody wants to say something and, and you can't hear them, you can turn it down here without affecting the broadcast. On top of that, there are a few nifty little things in, in Virtual DJ, uh, such as pitch control, which can be changed with pitch range, so you can decide how much you want to change pitch with this slider. Um, I think by default it will have master tempo on, so if you press this button here with the arrows, uh, you can unlock that to actually get the pitch to go up or down when you speed up or slow down. On top of that, you've got your effects list here, so you can have things like backspin, echo, uh, phaser. My personal favorite is the break start, which will allow you to start a song or slow it like a record. And so on. The last thing worth mentioning about Virtual DJ is how it uses active decks. So you can press tab to switch between. 
Um, the active deck is the one that will be controlled by keyboard shortcuts, such as space to auto play the first song. Um, it's also the one that will transmit to virtual audio cable. If you want to transmit both, you can just manually click the inactive deck to enable them both. Um, you can you can still switch between active decks, but it won't disable the other from broadcasting. This is obviously good if you're going to be actually DJing and um, crossfading between songs. Now the only thing left to do is to go to VRChat, and um, if you go to your options by pressing escape, you can go to settings and then go to microphone on the bottom right here. Just make sure that that is set as virtual audio cable and the level is about halfway. That's usually what I use. But yeah, that's effectively it. So if you head back to um, virtual DJ, you can play just about any song um, and so long as the deck is active and this is lit up, then it will play in the game. So yeah. Thank you for watching.